He works with kids at a Central Florida church, but tonight a youth pastor is facing charges. Deputies say he sent sexual text messages to a 15-year-old girl. He works at Grace Baptist Church in Marion County. That's just north of Southeast 110th Street Road in Bellevue. News 6's Jerry Askin joins us live now from outside the Marion County Jail in Ocala. And Jerry, we understand this man bonded out within the past hour. Julie, yes. Actually, in the past 45 minutes, Christopher Patrick, 30-year-old Christopher Patrick, walked out of these doors here at the Marion County Jail carrying only a brown bag, and he wouldn't answer any of our questions. Today, his neighbor said he's a family man who loved his family and loved his church, but investigators say it's what he and a 15-year-old did that landed him behind bars to begin with. Any words about what deputies said happened? Here's video when Christopher Lee Patrick walked out the Marion County Jail in the past hour. He walked fast, not answering any questions. Oh my goodness. What a, sh what a shock. It's a terrible shock. That's the reaction we got today from neighbors hearing about the arrest of Christopher Lee Patrick. Deputies say he's a youth pastor here at Grace Baptist Church and that he sent inappropriate text messages to a 15-year-old girl who was in his youth group. I am shocked. On the church's Facebook page, Christopher and his wife are listed as youth leaders. Deputies told me the girl's friends went through her phone and saw those shocking text messages. They knew the number to be uh, Pastor Chris's number, and so they notified an adult who then called the Marion County Sheriff's Office. She told the detective that she did have feelings for him. Deputies say he told the girl to deny they were texting inappropriately. Deputies saying they found the text on the girl's phone on the Text Nail app. He loves the Lord. Uh, he works with the community. Uh, loves his football. He's a family guy. Yeah, back live here. Patrick now out of jail. He's denying the allegations, according to deputies. He's facing charges of obscene communication, and he's due in court tomorrow. I did call the church today trying to get reaction, and someone answered and told me um, he's no pastor here, and they had no further comment. On the Facebook page for the church, he's listed. Him and his wife are listed as youth leaders. We're live here in Ocala in Marion County. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.